I'm sure you guys a point guard build with crazy finishing, can shoot from absolutely anywhere, can break ankles, and also has a good defense. Like, it can do everything. All right, so first things first, we're making the best guard build in this game. So we're going with point guard, and then we're going six foot six. You already know about the six foot six builds in this game, but you do not know about this six foot six build. Also, you can go shooting guard if you want to, but I'm just going point guard for this build. Then for the wingspan, you're gonna wanna go down to six foot eight to give you a little bit better shooting, and also go down to 180 as well. So probably the best part about this build is the 92 three point rating you're able to get. Which you guys can see is going to give you gold dead eye, gold blinder, silver agent threes, and silver limitless range. On this build, you can green absolutely everything, and it's really hard to contest you. So right here, I'm literally going up against a two-way point guard build. In first possession, we just absolutely cook him. Even with a little chop, it's still green. After I green one three, he starts playing stupid high up, so I just run right past him, easy dunk. And then I hit him with the same speed boost, but instead snatch it back. Like, he cannot guard both the rim run and the three. And just being able to have both is so, so overpowered. And then right here, I'm just cooking up a little bit. That behind the back is so OP. I should have shot it the first time, but I shoot it the second time, and he gets no contest. Once you get takeover on this build, it's just too easy to score. Like, I'm just being honest. I messed up the run back, but then I'm just wide open and he just leaves me it's still green y'all can just see how easy you can just spark on this build right here and the dribbling is so so crazy it's just green absolutely every single time and it's not only threes you guys see a little step back in the mid range area green then once again i did like that step back last possession so i just hit him with a cross into the mid range kobe step back again it's just green every single time the thing i like about the six foot six builds more than the six foot four and under builds is that you just don't get contested at all and you're really not losing that much when it comes to like your dribbling and stuff because literally the only animation you're missing out on is going to be the steve francis i'll talk about the dribbling a little bit later you guys see accidentally faded right there it's still green and then right here you guys see me out a little triple threat step back into limitless range that's a confident shot i shoot all the time even without take also here's literally the best swing jump shot in the game i've been using this on all my swing builds no matter what the three point rating is all right so for the playmaking first off you're going to want to go up to a 92 for the ball handling and then after that you're going to want to go up to an 83 for the speed with ball and you guys can pretty much see all the playmaking badges you're able to get it. gold speed booster gold unpluckable gold handles for days if you guys want to go up one more rating for gold killer combos you could but in my opinion it's not really worth it the dribbling on this build and the movement on this build is just so good you guys see i'm breaking ankles that speed boost is so overpowered and then the screen and honestly being six foot six i feel like just makes you so much taller and so much quicker like a lot of the drill moves create way more space because you are taller and scoring in general in my opinion is honestly just a lot easier because it's hard to get in contest and also it's hard to stop you when you're rim running and also all these clips I only had silver badges. If you guys want my drill moves, they're on the screen right now. And then moving on to the defense, first things first, 85 perimeter defense and 81 steel. This gives you silver clamps as well as a lot of other good badges, as well as bronze glove and silver interceptor. Then you're going to want at least a little bit of block. It definitely does help in my opinion. And as well, interior defense are cleaning that up a little bit too. The defense on this build is actually really good. Like you guys are going to see me get a lot of steals and these steals are not against like seven foot center builds with bronze unpluckable. This is the only dude's player card that I have but you guys can pretty much see he gets a 92 ball handling rating and he has a lot of his badges unlocked so he probably has silver or gold unpluckable but honestly it does not matter you're able to get so many steals on this build if you know how to use your right stick i'm so happy 2k added at least a little bit of a skills gap with that right stick and also the same thing goes for passing lane steals you can get a ton of passing lanes as well you guys have already kind of seen the finishing a little bit and you're probably assuming it's like in the 80s maybe 86 87 no it's literally just the 75 like literally that is it and that's all you need to be able to dunk consistently i've seen a lot of six seven builds with like an 87 driving dunk and i promise you there's no difference between this build and those builds i've not seen a single six foot six build with an 87 driving dunk get a real contact dunk this entire year and that's coming from someone that actually does have a build with an 87 driving dunk you cannot get contacts and the finishing is the exact same as this build right here just make sure you get that demar rose and dunk pack also if you guys are wondering i don't have crazy vertical or anything either like literally you guys can see my physicals right here like i only have a 55 strength that way i can get silver clamps and then i only have a 55 vertical that's literally all you need 75 driving dunk is too good in this game also here's the full build if you guys want to copy it and then you guys see i build a build with shades of terry porter lonzo ball and tyrese halburn it's a three-point shot hunter which does make sense you're gonna be primarily three-point hunting please subscribe to the channel and i'm out